Hey everyone, it's me, Megan. And I'm Jesse. Jesse, where are your shoes? And why are your pants rolled up? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, my dad and I just got back from walking around in a stream and I, <laughs> I forgot to put my shoes back on. Oh, okay. Well, walking in a stream sounds really fun. It was. I loved getting my feet in the cold water and looking for cool rocks. Did you find some cool rocks? Yeah, I I'll show you after we hear about the Bible story. That sounds great. Actually, in today's Bible story, God's people walked across a river and they collected 12 rocks from the middle. Let me tell you the story. Joshua had led the Israelites to the edge of the Jordan River. On the other side was Canaan, the land God had promised to give to Abraham's descendants. The only thing keeping the Israelites from the promised land was the Jordan River. They had to get across the deep, wide river. Joshua told all the people to get ready. God gave Joshua and the other leaders special instructions. God was going to help them cross the river. First, the priests carried the Ark of God to the edge of the river. The Ark reminded the people that God was with them. Joshua said, listen, God is going to do something great. When these men carry the Ark of God into the river, God will stop the water in the river. All the people watched. When the priests took a step into the river, God made the water stop. Then all of the Israelites crossed the river safely on dry ground. God told Joshua, tell 12 men to pick up 12 big stones from the middle of the river. They should put them down where you spend the night tonight. God had a plan for the stones. He wanted them to be a memorial. A memorial is something that helps people remember an event that happened. The people would see the stones and remember that God helped them cross the river. In the future, when children saw the stones and said, what are these stones? The people could tell their children what their mighty God had done. The Israelites did exactly what God told them to do. Finally, the priests with the ark crossed the river and the water began to flow again. The river was wide and deep like it was before. At last, God's people were in the promised land. God was with Joshua and the Israelites as they went into the promised land. He showed his power to them so they would trust in him. When Jesus came to earth, he showed his power so people would trust in him and be saved from sin.